What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's SBT Vasquez and in today's video I'm gonna be answering your guys's questions on my home theater setup. Let's start this show. Welcome back to my channel everybody. I appreciate everyone that gave such positive feedback on my home theater review and I'm here to answer some of your guys's questions that you guys had on the comments. So first of all I'm gonna go over the IKEA TV stand that I have. A lot of you were asking if the center channel fits in the cubbies so my personal center channel does not fit in the cubbies but i'm going to give you guys all the dimensions of the tv stand just in case some of your center channels fit in there and then you could decide whether your receiver fits in there or uh, your gaming consoles or whatever it may have you so here are the dimensions of the ikea tv stand So as you guys could see, those are the dimensions of the IKEA TV stand. And a few comments that I would like to make about the TV stand is it does come with hooks to basically mount your TV stand and push it against the wall and for it not to be um, tipping over just in case your floor is uneven or whatever the case may be. But I would never had an issue with uh, being wobbly or being an uneven surface. So mine isn't mounted or pressed up against the wall. Another thing I'm going to say about the Cubbies is uh, I do have the new Xbox Series X and I have placed it in the Cubby before and while watching just a 4K movie on my Xbox Series X uh, it was in the Cubby and after a while like about an hour into the movie the movie started skipping it turned into a blue screen and I went to check on the Xbox to see what was going on Nothing happened to my disc, but it was really hot in that cubby, so I don't think the Xbox had uh, enough breathing room in there. So with that being said, be cautious of what you put in there. And my receiver has been in there for a while. I haven't had any issues like my Xbox did. So take that into consideration when you consider putting something in those cubbies. Another thing I want to say is that this TV stand is pretty low, so if you do put a center channel, uh, inside that cubby it's gonna be real low to the ground so depending on your seating uh, it might be too low for uh, you to hear the speaker at a optimal height so take that into consideration as well maybe if your sofas are too high up or if your TV's uh, mounted really high up on your wall with that being said there are different uh, TV stands that have ventilation for all these uh, different components that require breathing and uh, also it gives a better signal for when your receivers are in there and you're trying to change the channel with your TV provider box or your consoles uh, remotes trying to reach signal to your consoles uh, these TV stands are specifically made for it to be an easier experience and for them to handle these devices now these expensive tv stands are going to be way more pricey so you got to take that into consideration when you buy ikea it might not meet all your requirements for a home theater setup but it will be more budget friendly now you could go with a tv stand that is meant for uh, these devices but it's going to be a lot more pricey so take that into consideration when you're uh, deciding to buy a TV stand. Now the same thing is going to go for these uh, it's speaker stands in the back here of my couch. There are pricier high-end TV stands but to be honest these uh, Amazon budget friendly ones they do the job just fine and you guys could see here they aren't an eyesore to look at. For me they do their job just fine and they don't look horrible either. So uh, when you're looking for a TV stand, this is a great uh, budget-friendly option and they are adjustable just in case your 
rear speakers are a bit larger. They do open up to fit bigger speakers and they do narrow down to fit smaller speakers. So you get that uh, adjustability at a budget price. And another question that I had is how do you route the wires from your receiver to the rear speakers without having wires running all over the place? Now this is something I just hide under my rug. So as you can see here, I have a rug in the center of my floor, even though I do have carpet. So I don't really need the rug there for aesthetic purposes. I need it there to hide my cables under the rug. So I just run them through the side of the TV stand, under the rug, under the couch, and then they'll go up the speaker stands. So as you can see, there are different types of cables that you could get I have a clear cable over here and those blend a lot more with my rug so they're not standing out like this white cable is over here. This white cable stands out a lot more so depending on the color of your floor you might want to change the color of your cables just to make it that more stealthy and not have them stand out like my white cable does right here. Now my last tip I want to mention is I want to tell you guys about how I connected my uh, cables to the receiver and to the speaker. Now there are two ways that you could do this. The speakers do come with built-in um, like screw-on connections that you could just twist and it'll hold your speaker wire. But I did buy these plugs that are a more secure option. but. The, the one thing I want to tell you guys about is when I first got them, I had never used these plugs before, so I didn't know that they were collapsible. So these plugs, you're going to have to push them into the receiver or into the back of the speakers. I thought I had gotten too big of a plug that it wasn't going to fit in, but they have these slits to allow the plug to co collapse while, when it's inside the receiver for a more um, solid connection when it goes in. Also, the other thing about these plugs is that they do have screws to lock down the wire when it's in. It has one at the top and one at the bottom to have that much more of a solid connection. Uh, if you have kids in your house, maybe they run around and knock into the speaker and it pulls on it. These are going to help it from not just slipping out and uh, having connection issues. So I would recommend these plugs. And with that being said, guys, if this video helped you out at all, I would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I would really like the help to get to a thousand. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll get to them when I can. And with that said, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I'm just all about this money, I don't think about no thighs no Girl, you don't know about me, so me. get off my fucking D my Born D. and raised in the thigh, thigh. this is real as you gon' see you Girl, see. you don't know about me, so me. get off my fucking D Get off my